The internet is obsessed with comparisons. It's not hard to scroll through your feed and find questions like Mario or Sonic, Gandalf or Dumbledore, Goku or Superman. Who is better? Who would win? Who would survive? Who won? Who's next? You decide. Today on the subfeed, we're comparing the constructors of combat, the masters of matchups, the big boys of battle. It's Wiz versus Nice Peter and Lloyd versus Boomstick. I'm Joe and I'm here to analyze their formats, presentation, and content to see who would survive on Epic Death Battle of History! So you're probably wondering why I'm not recording this against the same wall I stand in front of in every episode of the subfeed. Well, that wall is in my office, which is in the back room of the Hipster Nerds Pawn Shop. The Pawn Shop is currently infested with sock puppets, so the Hipster Nerds having an exterminator come out this week. So the shop's closed, I can't get into the office, so I can't record in there. So. I'm changing things up, experimenting with the format a little bit, throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. I mean, to some extent, all schmook videos are just the result of me experimenting to see what formats work best to communicate different ideas. For example, when I want to summarize all of the best memes from a given year, I, for some reason, make a Q&A video. And when I want to complain about the consistency of the themes in a film, I rip off Jenny Nicholson. You don't come to this channel for consistency. You come for the hot takes. That's a cool pack. But enough about me. Let's watch some YouTube, baby. Today we're comparing and contrasting two shows with very similar premises, but very different executions. Death Battle began in the year 2010 on the YouTube channel of video game news site Screw Attack. It is hosted by the two fictional characters Wiz and Boomstick, and its premise of pitting fiction's greatest heroes, villains, and side characters against each other in fights to the death has so resonated with audiences that it continues to be a mainstay of the YouTube landscape far long after Screw Attack itself shut down. It now makes its home on Rooster Teeth. Also beginning in the year 2010, ERB was created by rapping comedians Peter and Lloyd, and almost instantly shot itself into the mainstream of YouTube creators with its clever takes on characters both from fiction and real-world history. The series has been spread across two different YouTube channels, and has gone from being independent to being owned by Disney's Maker Studios to being independent again. Despite the history being rocky and them tending to take very long hiatuses between seasons, ERB continues to make appearances at the top of the trending page even after all these long years. Both shows are very similar as far as the quality of the content and what parts of the content are quality in what ways. Both shows do an incredibly deep amount of research into the fields necessary for understanding the characters they're matching up against each other. As a result, the writing of both is filled with both educational merit and niche references, demonstrating the writer's knowledge on both the characters and the worlds they're from, as well as other things in general. They're smart shows, is the point. The smart. 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 Neither show spares much expense in the manner in which they present the battles themselves either. Both shows maintain their own unique styles while not being afraid to experiment in order to better capture the tone of the worlds and characters they are adapting. Honestly, it may not come as a surprise to you that these two shows, both about pitting unrelated fictional characters against each other in fights, are not actually that different from one another, especially when we look behind the curtain at the process in which these two are made. 
However, the differences between the two shows are what interests us today, so let's begin breaking down those differences, beginning with their structure. The biggest difference between the two is the length of the videos. Death Battle is a 15 minute history lesson with a sick fight scene at the end. ERB is over in about 3 minutes. Ironically, neither format works particularly well for the way I'm watching them right now, sitting on the couch eating chips. Death Battle, honestly, most of the time is the kind of show that you can do something else while it plays in the background, and then maybe you look at the screen during the actual battle portion. Meanwhile, ERB, because it's basically just a music video, you have to watch like two or three of them if I'm going to enjoy more than a couple handfuls of chips. But the difference in structure is more than the amount of time we're witnessing the battle, though. You see, in ERB, we're already comparing the two characters from the instant the announcer says begin. They're already insulting each other and comparing their various strengths and weaknesses that they both have to each other right out of the gate, and they only cut deeper and invade each other's worlds more and more as the battle continues. Every second and every word of ERB is specifically focused not only in making sure we understand these characters, but in understanding why one of these characters is or might be better than the other. Now, with Death Battle, the structure is a little more drawn out. First, we have an intro. By intro, I mean like they introduce both characters and how they're related to each other. Uh, then, we spend about six or seven minutes with character one. Then, we spend about six or seven minutes with character two. And then, there's an ad. And then we get the battle, which is the cool part and what we're all here for. And then it's only at the very end, after we spent the majority of this doing research and analysis on the characters, it's only at the very end when the numbers and data from this earlier part are actually framed as a comparison between the two characters. Uh, and then it is explained why whichever of these characters won the battle here. The most obvious difference between these two shows is the kinds of matchups they pit against each other. For example, Death Battle is limited to fictional characters, and even within that, they tend to stick to characters from popular fantasy, sci-fi, comic books, video games, or maybe the occasional anime or cartoon. While ERB has some of the same characters, and even some of the same matchups, they don't feel quite as restricted in the kinds of source material they're able to pull from. ERB can pull from real-world history just as easily as fiction, and even there they can pull from the distant past just as easily as a modern celebrity. Death Battle has a niche. ERB doesn't have a particular niche, so it can pull from anywhere. However, this comes with its own limitations. Death Battle can pull sidekicks and villains and obscure characters only true fans are familiar with just as easily as the main characters. Whereas on ERB, you're only going to see characters that mainstream audiences are familiar with. The larger-than-life legends, and no one else. Death Battle limits the number of pools they dip their feet into, but when they dip their feet into those pools, they dive far deeper. ERB, you never get the B-sides and the rarities. On Death Battle, you do. The third biggest difference... Hold on, that sounds dumb. Um, another thing that is different... The thing... The thing about these shows is that they're trying to say different things, right? They're both comparing the feats and accomplishments of two different people against each other, but the point, the ideas talked about in each show is fundamentally different from one of these shows to the other. Death Battle is applying real-world math and science to fictional worlds in order to answer questions about these works of fiction. Epic Rap Battles of History is about taking these characters, distilling their ideals down to their fundamental basics, and then presenting that in a way that is fun. 
Both are educational, both are entertaining, but the value in both the education and humor in both come from very different places. Whenever Wiz and Boomstick make jokes, it's not really making fun of the source material or even how the source material compares to the other source material. The jokes are always at the expense of Wiz and Boomstick. They're the butt of the joke. And usually I'm all for self-referential humor, but it always feels like a distraction from the main point of the video. Because Death Battle is often about numbers and science, something that's not necessarily inherently funny. <laughs> Especially when being applied to stories that are often not about the minutia of facts and numbers. Now this is not to say that Death Battle pushes out the themes and hearts of the characters it's talking about completely. For example, in Goku vs Superman, the themes of the way these two different stories are told is honestly the definitive factor in why Superman is always able to overcome Goku 10 out of 10 times. While Goku's story is one of a man trying to be the best warrior he can be, Superman's is the story of a god trying to live amongst men. However, in one of these series, ERB, capturing the heart and soul of the characters is the entire point. In Death Battle, it's just one of many factors that can be considered, and typically isn't the most important one. In one, the identity of the characters is crucial, while in the other, it feels like flavor text. Finally, the thing that truly sets these two shows apart, their conclusion where one ends with the definitive K.O. The other ends with the more open-ended Who won? Who's next? You decide! When you get to the end of an epic rap battle of history, it is your job to then analyze the information being presented to you. It's your choice who won. And who's next? You decide. <laughs> Sometimes one of the options hasn't really been fairly represented, but it's your job to critique that as well. It's open to your interpretation, viewer. With Death Battle, it is not. In Death Battle, it's not open-ended. The question is not who you think wins this matchup. The question is, do you agree with Wiz and Boomstick's analysis. It's whether or not you get to feel salty about the decision they made between the character you like and the character that's the same trope, but more OP. Both have strengths and weaknesses, but at worst, epic rap battles of history simply leaves you feeling like you didn't get enough. The worst death battle can do is leave you feeling like the whole battle was pointless anyway, because the way you see the facts one character clearly should have acted differently, or won when they didn't. At worst, a death battle can leave you feeling robbed of an experience you feel like you were promised. So which is better, the open-ended rap opera, or the deep, definitive analysis? And which is worse, wanting more, or leaving dissatisfied? Who won? Who's next? You decide. Phone's ringing. I better take this. This might be HN. Hello? Hello, is this Mr. Rep? I'm calling about Sam Sale. Yeah, Sam's not available. Who is this? Yes, I'm calling because you are listed as his emergency contact. And this is an emergency. Is the emergency that he went missing? Because we know. He's been missing for like over a year. Uh, who is this again? Do you not know where to look? Or are you just scared of what you'll find when you do? It's none of your business. I don't know who you are or if I can trust you. You can't be certain you trust me. These are uncertain times. As in time itself is uncertain which path it wishes to tread. But Sam's sail must be found and he must be found by you. If he's not found by the right people, bad things could happen, Mr. Rep. What? You're the only one capable of finding him, Mr. Rep. The trail can be found if you investigate other members of your little schmook network. 
or perhaps a former member, a face you have not seen in some time, if you've ever truly seen it. What? I think that is enough information to get you started. We will meet again, Mr. Rep, under very different circumstances. Until then, goodbye.